Maybe I was the only one who didn't notice this, but now everything is starting to make sense. One of the more prevalent criticisms of the Ahsoka show so far is how Ahsoka herself is too stoic. She has her arms folded, she's too passive, and her character is nothing like how she was portrayed in the book of Boba Fett. Well, shout out to Fandomology for putting me onto this theory because all the pieces are now falling into place. Let's think back to the live action Ahsoka's first appearance. This would be way back in Mando season two. Remember, she doesn't take on Grogu as her Padawan, she liberates the townsfolk, and ultimately she defeats Morgan Elsbeth and takes her into custody. And then we get the legendary name drop. Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? The problem that arises is that the next show to come out in the Mandoverse was the Book of Boba Fett. Ahsoka is happy and smiling, and it already seems like she has had the long-desired conversation with Luke about how Anakin was redeemed back to the light side, a very important and emotional scene that we never got. But then going into the Ahsoka show, it seems like for no reason she is back to being depressed, passive, and stoic, almost as if her sudden change in demeanor was simply shoehorned in for the sake of a character arc. But this is not the case. This is because the Book of Boba Fett takes place after Ahsoka. Star Wars has a long history of releasing films out of order, and these shows are no exception. So let's reconstruct the timeline. Ahsoka takes Morgan Elsbeth into custody and hands her over to the New Republic officers to be transported to Coruscant for trial. En route, however, the ship is boarded by Balin Skull and Shin Hattie, leading us into the events of the Ahsoka show. She is stoic and depressed, just as she was in Mando Season 2. And sure, seeing Grogu brought her some temporary happiness, but it was a melancholy sort of nostalgia. She declined taking him on as a Padawan because she already had abandoned Sabine Wren. She did not want to abandon another. And at this point, she does not know that Anakin has been redeemed. She says to Din Djarin that she's seen what attachments can do to a fully trained Jedi Knight, to the best of them. And through what we got in Ahsoka Part 5, she still doesn't know that Anakin was redeemed. This is why she was so confused throughout the vision. She is jaded against Anakin because all she knows of him is his downfall into destruction and death. But now that she is reborn, in a sense, as Ahsoka the White, she has found the balance Anakin gave her. She's happy again, she's smiling, back to the Ahsoka we've always known. Fast forward past the conclusion of this series and we see her at Luke's new Jedi Temple, still happy and speaking positively about Anakin. She even says Luke is so much like his father. And the best part is, we may still yet get that scene between Luke and Ahsoka. If Dave Filoni said that he's always known what that moment was like, I trust that we will get that scene at some point.